You're watching the News Channel 15 Highlight Zone with Glenn Marini. Sports coverage you can count on with the Highlight Zone starts now. I'm 100% back. I worked hard to get where I am now, and I knew it was going to be hard. He really worked hard this summer in cross training. He did a lot of swimming, a lot of uh, weight lifting. If there was any question whether James Blackman Jr. was healthy, you should have seen the Highlight Zone Player of the Week last Friday. Blackman slamming home an alley-oop, a far cry from the player we saw with the torn ACL at the end of last season. Speaking of last season, the Knights won the SAC title, but this year they got a lot of challengers, and that includes Concordia. Joe Whalen spent the night at the cage and joins us now with more. Joe? Glenn, standing room only in the cage tonight, and as you said, JBJ is back, and this year, he's added his little brother. James is already verbally committed to IU, little bro VJ. He's already got a scholarship offer from the Hoosiers. On the flip side, though, it was all about experience tonight. The cadets are turning all five starters off last year's team that finished second to Lures in the SAC title race. Lures at Concordia, it's your highlight zone game of the week. JBJ coming in on an absolute tear. 82 points in his first two games, but off the opening tip, how about another junior? DJ McCollum, no fancy nickname, all finished. 7 0 run to start. And if the slam works, you know the alley oop is going to do the same. Nice finish there by McCollum. You do both of those in the first quarter, you get your own big head. Concordia running all night. Great ball movement, and don't you know, it ends up with Brian Grimo. But you know, JBJ, as we said, he's not going to go quietly. He's a big time player, gets to the 10 on the break. 10 points in the first half for him. But McCollum back with the play of the night. A slam like that usually generates reactions like this one. People literally dancing in the stands. Moments later, McCall, McCollum completing the trifecta of first half throwdowns. Concordia up 43 to 27 at the break. Move to the third quarter. Knights trying to rally. Blackman Jr. hits CJ McCarter for the lay in, but it's not enough. Back comes Thomas Starks. No relation to John, but still plenty of game. Big fella gets to the 10 for two. And then it's Mark Rogers capping things off. The Q-man himself. Cadets. Statement win early in the season. 77-68. Lures for the past uh, five years have came out and beat us home, here, and on the road. And uh, we really wanted to get this win tonight. We play every game tough. Um, Lures is a tough team to play. They come in, they play hard every night. But my teammates and I, we went out and we worked hard tonight. We work, we work for God first, our team second. So we went out, we worked hard, and we got it done. Lures plays Chittard next Saturday. Concordia is at Lakewood Park tomorrow. Glenn, great game by DJ McCall. Thomas Starks doing it as well. But really, the fast break was the key for this one. They dominated Lures' press in the and first Je half. And Josh Eggold's team is so long. You got Rodgers, you got Starks, you got McCall, and then Grimaud in the middle. That's a long team. They're going to be tough to play throughout the entire season. Thank you very much, Joe. Hey, like Lures and Concordia Northrop, one of the favorites to finish near the top of the SAC. Bruins at Northside tonight. First quarter, Brenton Scott. Watch the crossover. We got to take another look at this one. Floss him up, toss him up, hard away, cross him up. That's a little snoop for you. He drains the two right there. And even Davy Crockett had to be impressed. How about this, though? His brother, Bryson. The future Boilermaker in the lane. Northrop was up by nine after one. Second quarter, though, Mr. Smooth himself, Sean McGee with the jumper. Then it's Trevion Cruz from the other side of the court, knocking down a triple. How about Mike Davis? Why not? Redskins take a one-point lead right there as Northside beats Northrop 65-59. Nice win for the Redskins. To Kilmer Court we go. Snyder off to a 2-0 start. Panthers hosting Wayne. Josh Spitnail displaying what he does on the football field. He can play some hoop as well. First quarter action, Aaron Washington makes it a four-point Snyder lead. How about Josh Smiley? He's been a nice addition to this Wayne team this year. Good pop right there for Smiley, but it's still a two-point Snyder lead. Leander Williams, used to see him at Northside. He's with Snyder now and still doing the same thing. The steal and the bucket, Snyder up by four, and Santa has to like that. How about Smiley? Another long two. And Wayne wins this one in overtime over. Snyder General's looking good this year, 64-62.
Over in Archer Country, both Southside and Dwayne are looking for their first win of the season. Apparently Santa Claus is busy tonight. Second quarter, Southside down three. Devin Jones, the left hand, the old-fashioned three-point play. We're tied at 18. Then off the Archer turnover. Dwanger's Antonio Blackman to Grady Eifert. 20 points for Eifert. I said last week he was Tyler's cousin. Nope, he's Tyler's brother. Either way, great lineage and great athleticism. Southside would build a lead. Deion Williams inside. Archer's up by six from the final seconds of the half. It's Kyle Hartman for three. And it was big because Dwanger needed every point. They win by one. Saints take it. 54-53 at South. Switching now to girls, Southside got knocked off on Tuesday by Homestead. I'm sure it wasn't a conference game and it was only by a point, but you can bet Juanita Goodwell made sure her team didn't forget about it the rest of the week at practice. Third ranked Southside looking to stay perfect in SAC play. Archers hosting Dwenger South up in the first quarter. Naja King scores off the rebound. Archers would have a double digit lead after one and IPFW's Chris Paul looking on. Second quarter, Archers working the glass again. Michelle Wright would score a pair. Southside would build a 20 point lead and why not celebrate? Dwenger at the other end, Alyssa Gibson to Julie Miller. She had 12 points. Pretty nice night for her, but the Archers are tough. Brittany Clopton. The junior inside for two, four archers with double figure scoring totals. Ariana Simmons, the IPFW recruit, led the way with 17. Southside a winner, 80-49. At Concordia, the cadets coming in ranked ninth in 3A. Lures 12th in 2A, and this was about the cadets. They were up 13 at the half, but Lures would cut it to 10 with that three-pointer. Aaron Butler had 14. That would lead everybody. Concordia, though, going inside to the Jour Young. 29-17 at that point, and then some more good ball movement here from Concordia. Young from the corner, she had 13 points, 34-21. And then, you know what, Young's not selfish. Sharing the wealth to Rachel Kammeyer. Courtney Smith also had 13 for Concordia as the Cadets win it by 11, 50-39. Let's go back out to Snyder. The Panthers riding a five-game winning streak. Snyder hosting Wayne, and it's Snyder looking good here in the third quarter. Karina Smith. Makes it 36-17. Panthers net. Meredith Shipman, one of the area's best sharpshooters. She's going to play basketball at Western Michigan. She drains a three in the corner. 33-point lead by Snyder. How about Demetria Griffin getting the bucket here for the Generals? It's simply too much. Snyder tonight. Kelly Michael John's team playing some good basketball. Snyder a winner against Wayne 69-31. Final stop of the night in the SAC, back to Baje Arena. Northrop and Northside in girls' suits, third quarter. Northrop's Leah Edwards with the pilfer and the pair. Bruins up by eight at that point, thinking maybe we can run away with it. Well, maybe not. Northside right back. You saw Caviata Williams hitting the deck and then gets the assist as Shaniqua Rucker would finish. Sierra Miranda to beat that third quarter buzzer. Northside would cut it to just two as we head to the fourth. In the fourth, Northside's Deirdre Moore uses every piece of the rim, but Northrop had the answer tonight. Aliyah Suari, one of the best in the SAC, drains the three as Northrop wins 51-46 at Baye. Well, we can close the door on the SAC tonight, but your guidance counselor might say when one door shuts, another one opens. Coming up after the break, Canterbury double dipping with Blackhawk. Leo looks to light up the scoreboard, they always do. And NHC play getting underway, that includes Carroll at Homestead in an old-fashioned rivalry game. Those highlights and much, much more coming up in the zone.